Today, we're looking at something really old school. My first ever DV tape camera. So about 20 years ago, when video recording was completely different, I got my first ever DV tape camera. This is a JVC camera that can do 16 times zoom. Very cool for the day. Had a nice internal microphone, which was perfectly fine for what I needed at the time. And it had up to 700 digital zoom, which I'll be brutally honest, wasn't particularly great. It would just go all grainy. So never really often use that. But as a teenager, I used to use this for filming myself, doing random characters, filming plays I was in. Um, I used to do a couple of little films and stuff like that. So this has a bit of heritage to it. And I used to like this little camera. I was really proud of it because before this I'd borrowed cameras from family members and stuff like that. So to have my first camera was really, really cool. I had a little light on the front, which is really handy. So if you used to film at night time, um, it was really, really cool. So you had this little light and you could be like, ooh, and all this sort of stuff, which is really cool. And I had a little, uh, uh, focus viewfinder at the back which was quite nice but I used to use a screen um, only a little small screen on, on the back there um, but used to turn around which was handy so you could see what you was doing um, it was only a, a little screen uh, but it was more than what I needed at the time and I used to like it but it had loads of little cool settings and you could re rewind your tape because back then you had a tape and it was basically just those of you that don't know it was just a little tape about this sort of size um, and it was basically after the high eight tapes, which the big massive camcorders used to have that you know some of your family members may remember. Um, but what was really cool about that, so this felt ahead of its time. When I went to college at the time, um, it was, you know, it's what everybody was using. You know, there were digital cameras, but they're still using tape. It was like the, the crossover point between analog and digital, and it was just a really nice little time. Then you got the light but light button there and what you used to use to capture the video unlike nowadays when you just stick in your SD card or transfer your video onto the sky drive or whatever um, <laughs> you used to have to use what was called a firewire so you plug in a firewire into the into the right port plug it into your firewire adapter into your PC or laptop at the time or Mac and you used to have to play the video so watch all your video and capture it so a bit like for those of you that remember recording tapes on TV and stuff like that that's basically how you used to record um, with one of these cameras which was really cool and I used to to be fair nowadays I probably wouldn't have the patience but back then it was quite nice to watch the footage through and internally I'd write little notes or I'd write notes down clips I was going to use or edit out and that sort of thing so it was quite cool in a way um, but obviously it was quite time consuming if you had a lot of footage if you just wanted to get on with editing it but that was really cool but what I used to like it's quite heavy actually now um, compared to some cameras you get with the GoPros and whatnot um, but it's really cool you had to do a little zoom on the top there so it was easy for your index finger um, you could switch between different settings, you had the settings on the back, it did actually take photos, so not great. Um, you could actually put, an, funny enough, you could actually put a memory card in it, though I don't think I'd be bothered with this camera, um, because the photos were so poor, and I think you could only really use it for photos really. Um, they were so poor, they weren't particularly great. Um, <laughs> but I don't know, and it, I used to sit on the tripod, though originally I used to use books and tables until I got my first tripod. And the battery on the back used to last quite a while but this really was just a nifty little camera that really you know took me to the next level of video making and this was really the start of my video creation journey and that's what i used to love about this camera it really is the beginning of me as a video creator if you will you know whatever i was recording this really was where it was going so if you're getting value so far from this video don't forget to like and subscribe and i just want to say if you've got any questions or any stories for this age of camera please put them in the comments below It'd be really cool to see and if you want to support the support the channel don't forget to check out our merch or buy us a coffee links to all that in the description below as well as the gear that i'm using today and i just want to say one more thing um, about this camera I used to absolutely love I can't do it now because it's not charged but I used to open up the bottom if you can see that and the tape would go and it used to just come out and I used to find that really cool it was like something off a Transformer movie or something anyway I'll leave you with that and in a moment I'm going to leave you with two end cards and bring you absolute value and I'll see you in the next video